In the labs of the New Iberia Research Center, scientists are testing the effectiveness of the Ebola vaccine that could protect endangered wild apes. Scientists are conducting a trial with an oral vaccine that would be ingested by chimpanzees and gorillas. Dr. Peter Walsh is president of the nonprofit Apes Incorporated. He says Ebola is one of the leading killers of chimps and gorillas in the wild. Based on survey data uh, uh, of areas that have been impacted, we think probably on the, on the order of a quarter to a third of the gorillas in the world died in the last 20 to 30 years from Ebola. Uh, on chimps, we, our estimates are not quite as good, but a very large number of chimpanzees, probably in the thousands to, t to tens of thousands. While we're doing the study, we will be able to monitor the chimpanzees very carefully will be able to assess whether there's any ill effects from this vaccine. Food intake, body weight, and body functions will be monitored. Blood samples from the chimps will be taken at recurring time points to monitor how they're tolerating the vaccine. We're bringing all of our expertise to this trial to evaluate the safety of this vaccine for administration of chimps in the wild. We're able to control every aspect of this study except the one variable of the vaccine and the immune response to that vaccine. The study is being coordinated with Dr. Matthias Schnell, director of the Jefferson Vaccine Center at Thomas Jefferson University. He helped develop the vaccine. At NIRC, some chimpanzees are being inoculated by intramuscular injection. Others are being tested with doses of the vaccine that are placed inside their cheeks and under their tongues while they are sedated. Vaccines haven't been used to combat outbreaks of diseases in chimps and gorillas in the wild because of the conditions. The goal is to administer the vaccine at bait stations by placing it in fruit or other foods. Right now, we'll be, we're doing this, this vaccine trial now. Um, if it's successful, uh, fingers crossed, uh, then we'll go out and, and we'll go in, in, the, in the coming year, probably early next year, go out and start trying it, trialing it in, in Africa. I'm Chris Waltzy reporting for the University of Louisiana at Lafayette.